Poland versus Armenia for the right to fight an unblemished Viktor Akimov in semi-final number two. An artist versus a blue-collar brawler. Paintbrushes versus sledgehammers. An all-European affair for the last place in the final four. Zora Agopian. Kasper Mazinski. Three by three, one extra round in case of a draw. Oh, Michael Chevallo Stewart Fulton with you. Early lead kick from Casper goes down to the lead calf. High kick from Zora. A copy on the outside. Good check of the inside thigh kick. Short overhand right there from Zora to the left orbital. Outside leg from Majinski fires the uppercut. Got good tight boxing on him, Majinski. Was a little stiff in the first round back in March. Seems a little looser here tonight, Stuart. Well, yeah, he stamped his ticket to the quarterfinals with that upset win over Stoyan Koprivlenski in March. And he's been billed as the revenge of the underdog. Nobody saw him coming this far, and he is so far proven everybody wrong. Before we saw him in March, nobody outside of Poland knew who Kasper Majinski was. I bet not too many people in Poland knew who he was. He went home, though, to a state reception, got to meet politicians and celebrities, and was given the red carpet treatment in Poland upon his return. Up and cut to right hand from Stoya. You see how Kasper wants to get on the inside, stay in the phone booth, and drive those power laden hands to the body, to the jaw of Stoya. Zora on the outside, circling off to his right. You know, Casper would like nothing more to set up a rematch with Stoyan in the final. Stoyan's already made it through, past ball count in the semi-final number one. Casper has already said, I'd like to rematch Stoyan in the final. That would be a match for the ages, and Casper Muzinski has already said he wants to write his name in the history books as the best kickboxer Poland has ever produced. Zora Kopian, I don't believe, expected this early pressure in the opening minute and a half from Kasper Mazinski. Mazinski wasting no time. That's another good combination, though, from Zora. And then the slight lean back to evade the counter. Body shot from Mazinski. A Kopian looks for the overhand right. Thrusts out the jab, the Armenian. Goes downstairs. Then the front kick off the lead leg. High check from Mazinski. Just tried to turn Zora into that right hand. Step through knee. Zora goes turtle shell in the corner. Tries to whip out a left hook. Jab to overhand right. Jab again from a copian. Jab to right. Tight guard again. Looks at the high knee. Mazinski cannot afford to slow down. He must set the metronome at a very high rhythm here against Zora. Front kick. Zora back against the ropes. Going counterclockwise. But this has been a good round, I feel, for Kasper Mazinski. Goes body, goes head. I'll edge at the Kasper 10 9, Stuart. Yep, I have to say that. Mazinski. He had, with his pressure, he had a Kopian covering up and using the front teeth, the push kick, to try and gain some distance. But those left body shots from Mujinski, if we see him follow up with a right hook over the top in the second round, it could be a nasty occasion for Zora Kopian. The towering Roman Kriklia giving instructions and fanning down Zora Kopian in the corner. Four and one in his last five, Zora Kopian. Mazinski, as we said, back in the final 16 in March, he started slow in the first round. No such case. It may have caught a copy of a little by surprise tonight. A very high quantity, high volume opening stanza from Kasper Mazinski. Second round set for three by three. Hands up high on Kasper. Going to the legs early. A copy and goes high on the inside thigh, then a front kick to the left rib. Nice combination. Back leg, front leg from a copy and inside thigh. The leg work of Sora early on in this round. The high kick. 
Tried to loop the shin around the back of the net. Saw again though, choosing to sit against the ropes as he did for much of the first round, Stuart. Yeah, he's finding himself constantly backed up with this pressure from the pole. Those body shots just staying in his face, mixing things up with those low calf kicks. Again to the body. And the way that Casper is sneaking that left hand beneath the right elbow of Zora and hitting that liver section it is superb. Again, he throws it, then goes upstairs with the right hook. Zora on the outside, looking through the brow, belly button through the back, a shot to the bread basket from Casper. Big left hand, floated up on that right there did Zora. Trying to sit down on the punches now, Zora Agopian. But again, he backs himself into the corner. Didn't expect Zora to be this flat footed, Stuart. No, I am a thorough Ocopian fan, it has to be said. But Brzezinski has done nothing but fully impress me since we saw him back in March, and he is continuing that here today. He has come with a pocket full of quarters tonight, Kasper Brzezinski inside the phone booth, dropping quarter after quarter, staying there on Zora Ocopian and scoring. Overhand right from Ocopian. These are the combinations though, gonna set that right hand, stick the left of the face of Casper, then throw the power laid at right. And again, Casper gets him against the ropes. Outside leg kick. A copy and front kick. Switches to Southpaw. Ties up. A copy really needs to start working now. Casper continually coming forward would not look good on the scorecards. The judges won't view it favorably for Zora if he keeps coming backwards like this. Sticking jab between the eyes, nailed him with that one. He needed the right hand for company. Three punch combination, leg kick right cross from Mazinski. Scores for the pole. Just myriad shots here from Kasper Mazinski. He is not allowing a Kopian to know where these strikes are coming from. Upstairs to the body, downstairs, low down on the calves. Everything is just coming at him constantly. Backing him up into the ropes, into the corners. Final 10 seconds, this combination work from Kasper Mazinski. I believe he's gonna win another round here, Kasper. I've got him 10-9, 10-9 after two, Stuart. He's winning this so far, and the next three minutes, Zora Akopian has it all to do. If you're in the corner here, if you're Roman Cricklayer, what are you telling Zora to do in the final three minutes? Just don't let him back you up. Find a way to pivot out, to find your angles. Just don't allow yourself to be backed up. He's allowing himself that pressure to come on him, and he's pulling up his guard. He's nice, nice and tight with it, but he's, he finds himself having to use the push kick or wild punches to try and find his way into his own distance again. Everything going according to plan for the Polish power, Kasper Mazinski. Not so for Zora Kopian of Armenia, third and final. For the right to fight, a fresh Viktor Akimov. That's a scary prospect in semi-final number two. Viktor Akimov is the freshest at this moment in time. Now, Mazinski needs to fight intelligently, <laughs> apply the pressure for three more minutes, it'll see him through. Zora always has that proverbial rabbit he can pull out of the hat. Can he find it though? Has he brought the bag of tricks? You see Zora trying to stay in centre ring now. Not allow himself to be backed off. Checks the low kick, goes high for the round kick. Looks for a calf kick. Calf kick from Casper. Then goes the liver. Zora hooks upstairs. Kicks the back leg. This is better from Zora. Going to get away from the corner. And he does. Hurries the front kick, counters the left hand. Front kick from Zora. Good combination work again from Mazinski. And there's a combo lightning bar from Zora, finally pulling the trigger a copy. But he needs to do a lot more. Trailing 2018 on our unofficial scorecards. Loads up the left hand. A Mola Rattler, double jab to right. And there's a return favor from Casper. 
Much better round from Zora though. But he's backed against the ropes again. He can't go there. Eats an uppercut. Oh yeah, he started this round so much better. He was staying in his face. He was pushing forward. But you see, Muzinski, he's got all those tools and they've all been working so far. He's still touching up that liver on the left-hand side. Uppercut from Muzinski. Body shot from Zora. Like he's digging for oil. Left hand. Right hand from Zora. Leans back against the counter. Checks the low kick, goes to the body, then up to the head, lead hook. Uppercut. Good counter right hand from Majinski. Wild looping left hand, straight right to the schnoz there from Zora Kopian. 110 remains. Big body shot. Pelts it into the midsection of Kasper Majinski. Throws the right hand to the lead punch. Zora could be winning this final round. But it may not be enough to get him over the line. 50 seconds remain. Inside leg from Kasper Mazinski. Zora with the left hand. Mazinski's chin is made of granite. He is wearing these punches from Zora like they're nothing, shaking them off. Zora takes a big breath, goes to the liver again. Left hand, little pirouette to centre ring. It just seems that every time Zora Akopian finds his way into this, that Kasper Mazinski has an answer for it, and he comes back even harder, and he comes back quickly. Like old Rowdy Roddy Piper said, Every time Zora thinks he's got the answers, Mazinski changes the questions. High right round kick there from Zora Kopian. High kick from Mazinski. We are going down to the judges here in quarterfinal number four. The best round of the fight for Zora was the final round, but I believe Mazinski takes it here, Stuart. Yes, that third and final round was definitely much more in favour of the, the man born in Armenia fighting out of Georgia, Zora Kopian. But will it be enough on the judges' scorecards? Can you pass me my words and get me a napkin? Because I believe I'm about to eat them again. I had Zora Kopian, my number one seed in this tournament. I believe on my unofficial scorecard, he's about to be eliminated. I'll give you those words with a bowl of rice over to the ring for the officials now. Judges, Judge 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 And again, exactly the same. It's the unanimous decision in favor of the poll. He goes through to the semi finals to face Viktor Akimov. A semi final. Of underdogs, Akimov versus Mazinski. Very few people predicted it. On the other side of the draw, Denge Silva and Stoyan Koprovlenski. 18 Four remain in the K1 World Match. Best round of the fight, the final round from Zora Kopian. But my word, what a performance from Kasper Mazinski. He had more combinations than a Sudoku puzzle, the pole. And he completely unraveled and solved the riddle of the bewitching nobleman.